So, as per usual, I'm drawing a Cryolophosaurus. Whoa, I just zoomed in on my uh, screen here. But I'm trying to find some references to, like, what their eyes could have looked like. I don't know, man. Like, look how different birds' eyes are. Not, not the, the no, that's AI. That's, that's a drawing. We don't know. I'm talking about, like, the real birds. Like, they, they have just, like, very boring, but, like, they're, they're all different. And I don't know how to choose, like, what type of eye to do. Like, do I need to look at, like, birds that are around during, like, fall and winter? But does it matter? Because in the early Jurassic, it was all, like, tropical, almost. So... I don't know how to research this. And nostrils! I am very confused with dinosaur nostrils, just in general. So like, here's Allosaurus. This was kind of a new paper uh, to kind of redesign Allosaurus and how we better know what the skull structure and everything looks like. But like, look at the nose there! Like, what does that mean? What is that? How do we know how to do that? And then look at this, look at the eyes. Right? Like, how do I know... How do I know where to go with it? Like, even Gabriel Guetto kind of has something similar to it, but it's, like, more of a nostril. And, like, are they puffy like that? Like, how do... How, I don't understand the anatomy there. Then you get stuff like this, where it's a very, like, stereotypical nostril, but, like, does that move? Like, like in the Jurassic Park movies, like they, they flex, can they flex their nostril? I, I'm not quite sure. Man, that was... Bill. Bill J. Uzin. Holy shit, you're... That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make some shit that looks like that. But then you get this image of T-Rex by Mark Witten, and the nostrils are just microscopic. Like, they're so tiny. This thing had incredible sense of smell. But it's got these tiny little nostrils. Like, how do nostrils work on dinosaurs? I think those are my biggest anatomy issues when it comes to dinosaurs, other than, like, muscles and skeletal structure. Like, just doing it off the brain. It's really hard to remember that. But nostrils and eyes are so strange. And, like, they vary with birds. Because birds have just... I just showed you. They have red eyes, orange eyes, brown eyes, yellow eyes, blue eyes. Like, they have all sorts of eyes. But, like, what does it mean? What what does... What do blue eyes mean when it comes to birds? What kind of nostrils should dinosaurs have? Can they flex their nostrils like us? Like, that. Can they do that? Is that is that a mammalian thing? Like, I've never seen, like, a reptile do that. Birds obviously can't really do that. They have little, little nodules. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the eagle's beak. Um, see that little thing on the inside of the nose right here? That little thing there? That controls the way that they, like, smell and, like, how much air is coming through and stuff like that. So that moves, but everything else, everything else doesn't move. This is, this is all, like, keratin. Like, all of this is keratin that's that's it this is the only thing that would move so like what what does that th do all birds have that let me check out my boy the uh bearded vulture okay well that's not gonna happen because they cover their nose with their feathers great